All right, let's take a look at problem 35. Uh, it says Terry estimated the length of the edge of a cube to be five centimeters. The actual length of the side is 5.2 centimeters. Find the relative error of the surface area of the cube to the nearest thousand. Okay, so we have to be careful here to note that we're not looking for the relative error of the measure of the side of the cube, but we're looking for the relative error of the measure of the surface area. Okay, so before we uh, go ahead and calculate that result, let's go over the formula first. Uh, the formula for computing the re uh, relative error. Okay, so relative error, relative error is going to be, uh, can be found by determining the absolute value of um, the measure, measured minus the actual, absolute value of that difference divided by of the actual, okay, over the actual. So in, in the context of this problem, what we're going to be looking for is the relative, relative error of the surface area is going to be the absolute value of the measured surface area minus the actual surface area, okay, divided by um, the actual surface area. So what I'm doing right now is basically applying this general formula up here to this particular situation, which is a surface area, okay? So what is the surface area of, of, a, of a cube? Let's go ahead and determine that formula also. All right, so let's say we have a, a cube. So we know what uh, we know that a cube has six faces, and the area of each face of the cube can be calculated by multiplying the length times the width, right? So the area of a face of a cube is s squared. So um, since they have the a cube has six faces, the surface area of the cube is basically six s square basically six times the six square areas of each face of the cube so this is a formula we're going to be using to calculate the relative error of the surface area okay so looking at this formula we have here we have to find the measured surface area first so let's go ahead and find that measured surface area measured surface area so we need to use the measured side lengths. Okay, so measured measured side S is equal to what did Terry measure? Uh, she estimated five centimeters. So that's the measured side length. So a uh, measured side S is five. So the measured surface area is going to be six um, S square, which is going to be six times five to the second power. And then five times five is 25 times six is 150 centimeters square. Now, next thing we need is the actual surface area. Okay, actual surface area is dependent on the actual side measure. Okay, so the actual side S is going to be 5.2, okay? 5.2 centimeters, let's make sure. Because if you look at the problem, it says the actual length of the side is 5.2 centimeters. So that's the actual side length. So the actual surface area of the cube, 6s squared, is gonna be six times 5.2 squared. All right, and we enter that in our calculator, we'll get 162.24 centimeter square. Okay, now we have everything we need to calculate the relative surface area. So let's go ahead and compute that. So relative, I mean the relative error, the relative <coughs> error of uh, Terry surface area is going to be the absolute value of the measured surface area, which is 150 
minus the actual surface area 162.24 absolute value of that divided by um the actual surface area which is 162.24 okay so let's go ahead and enter that in our calculators all right so absolute value you can find that under catalog um let's go to second function zero takes you to catalog abs is absolute value absolute value of 150 minus 162.24 all right, divided by the actual, which is 162.24. Enter. And your answer is 0 0.754, 0 0.07544. Okay, so the relative error is 0 0.07544. We are asked to round to what decimal place? If you go back to the problem, we are asked to round to the thousand. Okay, so where is that? Um, this is the tenth, hundredth, and thousandth. Okay, so this is where we're rounding up to. The number behind is not five or greater, so we're going to just truncate that piece out. And our answer is going to be 0 0.075 to the nearest thousandth. Okay, thousandth. All right, and now of course the unit is centimeter squared because we're looking for the relative error of the surface area. All right, so that's that.